Dear friends, Namaskar. Welcome back to the course on Organizational Behavior, Individual Dynamics in Organization. Today we move to a new topic, Module 6, where we look into values. Now every time we hear about values, uh, some people have those values, some people have uh, some other values. So let's delve deeper into this and understand this in a very clear manner. I'm Dr. Abraham Salisak. I'm a faculty here at the School of Business, Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. Today's theme would be values are important. Values are important aspect of human identity and culture, influencing our choices and shaping our relationships and communities. So this would be the background with which we would try to understand values in greater detail today. What are values? This is the basic question that we have to answer first to understand what actually drives the value proposition within an organization, specifically within an individual. Values represent basic convictions that a specific mode of conduct, doing a certain activity or a business or even end state of existence is personally or socially, personally or socially preferable to an opposite or converse mode of conduct or end state of existence. In other words, we would like to see that you perform or behave in a certain way, which is more socially as well as personally acceptable in total. So if we look into the values with respect to the basic convictions that certain a larger population has, how to behave or how to perform or how to act in a particular situation that entails what is known as values. Now there are certain guiding standards that influence behavior, decision making and the way individuals or society generally prioritize what's important in life. So we might see that there are some things important to person A which are not even in the priority list of person B. So there are these differences that exist mainly because of their value proposition, mainly because of the value chain, the value, value proposition which they are following. So let's understand specifically what do you mean by these values or some of the examples of these values. Now individuals and societies often prioritize and live by a combination of these values. You will be, uh, it will be clear once we actually detail on some of the existing well-known values that are uh, taken as or considered as the core values that one should possess within an organization or otherwise. So when we are looking into individuals per se or the societies at, at, in general, we often prioritize and live by a combination of these values and they can, they can evolve over time. It's not like once you have a set of values, you are being restricted with those values. It never happens like that. With your experience, with your, uh, let's say, uh, with your uh, performance in the organization, with your understanding, with your learning, with your uh, exposure to the outside world in terms of cultural orientation, in terms of, let's say, the way you, way you interact with others, every single moment is a learning moment. With respect to that, if you see even your values keep evolving as you evolve as a better individual or worse, which we are not looking at in this particular moment. So what can be the different examples of values or what are the core values which, which the society and which the organization would generally appreciate? The first and the foremost one undoubtedly, inconspicuously would be being truthful, honesty being truthful and transparent in one's actions and communications. So we know these things, it's, it would seem like a very basic class on values, but it is indeed required to build up an organization level understanding. I would like to pitch in certain empirical research at the end point of this class, where you will, you will appreciate what are the basic examples and how these are required or important with respect to an individual in an organization. 
Another important value could be integrity. We talk about honesty in a greater detail, but seldom do we actually appreciate the existence of integrity. Integrity is nothing but upholding a strong moral and ethical character. Many a time it is easy to say that there is high integrity within an organization or this individual is a person who is having high integrity. But, but the fact of the matter is that it is easier said than done. Another important value which people try to appreciate or which people want to get inside them or want to, uh, want to explicitly showcase is respect. Treating others with consideration and dignity. When you are looking into such values like uh, you know, understanding others, trying to give respect, trying to treat others with dignity, you tend to get it back give respect take respect and this is why this has emerged as a as a saying when you are actually treating somebody with dignity they tend to treat you back in the same way another important value could be compassion understanding others knowing others showing kindness and empathy towards others many a time we tend to uh, digress towards towards the discussion between what is the difference between sympathy and empathy. Sympathy is just to you know, understand their feelings, but empathy is going a step beyond that. Let's say you are in a crowded bus. You are in a crowded bus and there is a seat that is reserved for differently abled person. Now, you tend to sit there or let's say you, you tend to occupy that seat because you didn't get any other seat. When there is somebody who is actually eligible, actually, uh, uh, you know, reserved for that seat, the person comes inside, then you generally feel, or let's say if it's a different person altogether, you feel that, okay, he should have got a seat. Or maybe even if it's not a reserved seat, you would tend to feel that, okay, you would have given that seat had I ha a, a better seat or a, or a reserved seat. But empathy is going one step ahead. You are, you are standing up and you are vacating that seat and giving, even if that's not reserved for that particular category. So this is taking one step beyond. So more than sympathy, empathy is what compassion warrants. Empathy is what compassion looks for. Another important value is justice. When you're looking in organizational perspective, we had, uh, you know, detailed discussions in the previous module where we looked look into the fairness in terms of treatment. Fairness and equality in dealing with others. And this is very prominent, very, very relevant in organization. Many a time, you work in a groups, you work in a team, you understand that there is some level of favoritism. There's some level of favor being being disposed of because you are you are good to your boss sometimes people who work hard are seldom recognized because they they might not be able to showcase showcase what they have done so this is what specifically you mean by justice and what other values could be important would be something like equality now, in, in modules coming, we'll also discuss into the difference between equity and equality. Sometimes equity in an organization is more preferred than equality. Equality is believing in equal rights and opportunities for all. You, the moment you go in for recruitment, you might see the ads actually stating that there is this, this particular organization is an equal opportunity employer. You, you do not have any discrimination. You do not show any bias with respect to that particular position or with respect to a selection process altogether. There might be a situation or there might be examples of environmental stewardship coming up as a value. This, is, this, is, this has gained prominence, this has gained momentum, especially with a lot of attention coming towards the environmental degradation that's happening over the years. Environmental stewardship is more than just knowing about the environment. It's, it's, all about caring for and protecting the environment in your words and your deeds. Are you willing to walk the talk? This is what makes environmental stewardship very much relevant and important. Another important aspect could be health. Prioritizing one's physical and mental well-being. Sometimes you see that managers tend to uh, not care about their subordinates or the co-workers or their other employees 
and tend to fix up deadlines and uh, a lot work in such a way that it 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 goes beyond the the conceivable limit or the workload is well beyond the stipulated times or the stipulated targets stipulated workload etc in those situations they actually uh, give a hit to all the work life balance equations that otherwise was maintained in a very proper in a very healthy way so another important aspect or another important value could be independence independence in specific organizational behavior management means self reliance and self sufficiency are you getting that freedom or the environment where you can be self reliant that is the question when it comes to uh, actually making the value a core value rather than an instrumental value what's the importance of these values we have we have seen some examples like honesty integrity compassion even environmental stewardship etc but what are the importance what what but what is the importance of these values values lay the foundation for our understanding of people's attitude and motivation and influence our perceptions now sometimes there are some perceptions that are misguided and those misguidance might emerge or might be elicited because of a wrong value proposition i'm having sometimes you see that some of the employees would not behave in the right way sometimes you feel right in 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 your perception sometimes you feel that your coworker is not compassionate to you your coworker is hiding some knowledge from you your coworker is not considerate towards the environment let alone the coworkers or the employees so such situations are based on the foundation of understanding of people's attitudes and motivation and the influence our perceptions now that said sometimes there are issues with values like values cloud the objectivity and rationality sometimes you are too honest sometimes you are the the flag bearer of integrity so that you miss out on the result sometimes you miss out on the deadline sometimes you miss out on the target so there is a delicate a thin line that separates both but one should in an organization one should travel it through very carefully so values can cloud objectivity can cloud rationality sometimes you are you are taken by compassion the kindness towards and towards and fellow worker but unfortunately they might uh, tend to exploit or misuse the particular situation or misuse the particular uh, feelings you have towards towards one another so there there could be situations you must have already seen that the moment you you show some empathy the moment you are emotional the other party tends to walk all over you so this this could be another important aspect when we discuss values it has a negative side there is a possibility that values can cloud objectivity values can cloud rationality they influence even attitudes and behaviors i have already mentioned that attitude is learned enduring predisposition towards a particular object or a set of people there are situations when even the attitude which is otherwise not that easy to change might also be influenced by the value that you are carrying in that particular situation let's look into the importance and the criticality of values in organizational aspect one being organizational culture every single culture will have a set of values organizational culture of let's say the the eastern part of the hemisphere might be different from the western part of the hemisphere similarly with respect to the north and south there might be cultural differences that emerge even when you move from a region to region within a country there might be cultural differences being in india you you can understand that there might be differences between states in terms of organizational culture that emerges in terms of individual culture that is being brought in there are some uh, the situations where values emerge as guiding principles there could be situations where ethical behavior is a result of the values which you carry there are situations where decision making strongly relies on the values you carry for example let's look into a situation where you are compassionate you tend to understand that let's say a certain level of profit should go for 
you know maybe some charity or maybe some some work which otherwise has a social commitment associated with that so that decision is enshrined or embellished by the value you are carrying which is compassion there could be situations where you are honest and you are truthful the, there there are situations where you are driven by integrity those decisions would be more more superior than other decisions in some situations and in some other situations the same decisions might be flawed ones because you might be working in a very tight result oriented deadline oriented organizational rigid structure so these are the situations even when decision making is guided by certain values you are having there might be situations in each or aspects of recruitment and retention that is being guided by certain values you might give uh, let's say even even after bad performance maybe in a cycle or in a year you might be willing to give as a manager a second chance to the particular subordinate some organizations do not tolerate that because of the value proposition they have so values are very critical in organizational aspect even when it comes to brand and reputation sometimes there are specific aspects which look into the brand and reputation which are guided by values some brands you might you might have observed that they don't care about the environmental stewardship they don't care about environment altogether they are there only for the profit making so there are situations like that there are aspects of innovation and adaptation that are being guided and driven by values even conflict resolution is driven by values in organizational setup you you might you might tend to put two people with different values conflict is almost the outcome that is going to come or sometimes it is difficult to resolve any particular conflict where where there are people who are coming from or having different value propositions there might be situations where people who are having different value they might tend to motivate one another maybe in term in terms of a, an organization which is driven by performance climate i've already detailed in one of the previous sessions regarding performance climate and learning climate just i would like to refresh it here there are some organizations which are driven by performance climate everybody is performing then you are being rewarded only if you are being you are a good performer there are some organizations which rely on mastery climate where learning is more important than mere performance so there are situations like that even some some brands customer loyalty is driven by values there might be some let's say some some brands which are being connected to environment which are being connected to grassroot so customers tend to go for that particular brand because there is there is some connect that is happening with the with the environment or there is some brand which is showing off or which is showcasing its its commitment social commitment or maybe the commitment to the society at large those brands might be valued more because of the inherent values of compassion inherent values of honesty and integrity and there are situations when these brands are not taken seriously also because of the lack of integrity they possess so values are critical and let's le look into some of the values and performance outcomes so in in this course of our ob organizational behavior organizational behavior management specifically i have i have always Uh, made it a point that we rely strongly on empirical research and i would like you to take you through a, a, a study which was surveyed over 170 workers of large industrial projects so we are looking into this study which was done on organizational values and their relation to organizational performance in this particular study there is a congruence between supervisor and employee values satisfaction and commitment are higher we also find that values have been noted to provide a bonding mechanism between people to set the tone for the environment and to produce a culture that facilitates equips or work towards common goals 
So, we are specifically looking into a study which has taken into a situation where there is a value congruence that is happening. There is an alignment of values with respect to the individual and the organization in general. The greater the perceived value congruency because this, this particular terminology itself is highly researched. The greater the perceived value congruency between top managers and the department members specifically, the greater the perceived power within the organization by that department. So, if you are going against or there is some level of inclination that you are tangential to the values or you are uh, off the line of the, of the organizational values or the management, top management values, then there might be chances of conflict. Then might be uh, probability of you being disempowered. So, all these aspects are critical when your values are, are in alignment with the organization values. Clearly defined and communicated organizational values specifically reported that employees are more involved in organization and more participatory in decision making. The moment you see that your values are not in alignment, you are not uh, let's say let's say an organization is taking up a decision which is on the wronger side which is you feel that it goes against as an example hypothetically uh, it, it goes against environment it goes against let's say uh, the livelihood of people you tend to be in not in favor of that particular decision so here is a classic case of your values getting disengaged from the organi organizational values your values not in alignment with the organizational values however defining the values at the departmental level may make the values too rigid and not flexible to change because it's not one department that makes the organization it's many such departments so let's say you are trying to define a particular value associated to a particular department. Now, every single department, if it starts to make it as a domino effect, then you tend to have a mixed value chain or value, mixed culture of values. So, the value that organization wants to showcase or wants to project would not be one. It would be a random set of different values which would be inefficient way to propose what is the value of that particular organization. So, values are learned and even can be taught in training programs. So, a mitigation or a solution to that particular fix where every single department comes up with a different value uh, altogether is that you can have a session, you can have training programs whereby you tend to reorient, you tend to change or you tend to uh, let us say modify the value system the people or the, the employees within that particular department are having. Now, to conclude, let me give you a food for thought. When you are talking seriously about values, let us look into a different side of the coin, whether it is freedom or lack of commitment. When we look into lifelong commitment to one employer is a thing of the past. We see that every single situation that people uh, nowadays, they tend to, every single uh, instance, they tend to switch their career to a different organization. So, this is a particular food for thought on the basis of that, in the background of that. So, if you look into an analysis by Princeton economist Henry Faber revealed that the percentage of private sector employees who remained with the same employer for 10 or more years has dropped from 50% in 1973 to less than 35% today. So, those with 20 or more years with the same employer dropped from 35 to 20%. To be sure, some of this movement is employer driven. Let us not have any, any particular doubt with respect to that. Lifetime job security is long gone for most positions. So are benefit packages that would keep employees secure such as rock solid pensions, generous health benefits, etc. But does a generational shift in values also explain the drop? So this particular segment where we tend to analyze and understand the aspect of generational shift which is causing this particular drop. So, according to Pew Research, 66% of millennials say they want to switch careers sometime in their life. 
while 62% of Generation X members and 84% of baby boomers say they would prefer to stay at their current job for the rest of their lives. Another study suggested that while 64% of baby boomers really care about the fate of their organization, this figure is only 47% for millennials. Yet, another study indicated that two-thirds of millennials had plans to move or surf. This is very relevant from one job to another as a means of gaining desired skills and increasing their pay. We'll take an example. One millennial, Rebecca Thorman, notes that mobility makes sense only because if you aren't mobile, you limit your options. She says you can't expect your pay to grow by staying at the same job. You just can't. These values don't sit well with some employers. We prefer long-tenured employees who have stuck with us and been loyal, says Dave Foster, CEO of Every Foster, an advertising agency in Dallas. It appears that a lot of millennials don't think that one path is the answer. This is a problem because the commitment isn't there. To attitudes like that, Thorman retorts, we are not going to settle. So this is a bone of contention that creates a situation of generational values. Now, to conclude this session, I tried to give you some importance, some perspective into values. There are different set of values which are appreciated within an organization, starting from honesty to compassion to integrity to environmental stewardship, etc. But that said, if your particular value is not in alignment with the organizational values, conflict is bound to happen. In those situations, it's always better to retrain yourself or try to advise your leadership that there should be a change in values. There should be some concern given to your value also. So that would make the things more uh, feasible or more uh, practical. But otherwise, there is going to be serious conflict. When you are in an organization which is working against the value system of yours, you might feel that you are not part of the organization. So basically, sometimes you feel uh, disgusted, disgruntled, you feel you are not part of the system, I don't belong here. All those thought processes arrive mainly because of a single thought or a single core reason which are values. So we'll see more about values in the next class. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.